Good afternoon, Colonel Country, and welcome to another episode of Colonel's Corner. On today's episode, we'll be discussing the Wilkes University women's soccer team's 2019 ECAC tournament bid. Our guest is head coach John McNichol. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Adam. Coach, this is your second year at the head of the women's soccer program. Second year in a row you've made it to a postseason tournament. What is your personal level of excitement, and then what is the excitement le- excitement level of the team? Yeah, I mean, as a group and, and myself individually, we're very excited. We're very fortunate to, to get a bid into the ECAC tournament. Um, the great part about any type of postseason tournament, sure, our, our ultimate goal is to be in the NCAA tournament, is getting that extra time together as a group. Um, you, you get such limited time with each team every year, and to be able to have our seniors go out playing in a postseason tournament is, is a great experience for our for our first-year players, for them to be able to come in and, and see the play in a tournament, to have these types of moments is only going to help in their player development. So we're very excited just to be together and get an opportunity to be training together this week and preparing for our first game on Saturday night. Now we're playing William Patterson this Saturday, a team that we were supposed to play earlier in the year but never got a chance to. So it's kind of ironic that we're finally getting a chance to play them in the ECAC. What can we expect out of uh, the Pioneers? Absolutely. I mean, they're a great team. They had a, they had a fantastic year making it to the uh, tournament in the NJAC, which is one of the top conferences in the country. Uh, they had six all-conference players. Uh, they had the co-offensive player of the year, Marissa Adelman, who's a fantastic player up top. Um, they're very organized. They're very good in the back. Um, they have some center midfielders that are very creative, are able to kind of ping the ball around, and then they have three forwards that are very capable of finishing. So it's going to be a great matchup. Um, you know, we were very prepared for them back in September when we had the lightning delay, and um, you know, it's a team we're familiar with. We typically play them in our non-conference schedule every year. Um, Coach Woods does a great job with his group every year, make, getting them up to to the talent level that they have, and it's going to be a tough game for us. Um, we're excited to play them. We kind of joked about it on the phone yesterday about, hey, we're finally going to get to play this match this year, and uh, we're, we're excited to you know get that opportunity to play each other. Now let's talk about the rest of our pod, obviously. William Patterson is in it. Then we've got the host, Albright, and they will be playing Penn State Harrisburg. What's the competition level that we can expect from the three other teams that we'll be seeing? I mean, it's very high. I mean, you have four teams that all played in their conference tournament this year. Um, Albright uh, won a game in the in the conference or in the Commonwealth side of, of things before uh, bowing out to Messiah. Um, you know, uh, William Patterson lost to Rowan in the first round of the NJAC tournament, and Penn State Harrisburg won two games in their tournament and lost in the final to Penn State Burke. So, you know, really we're looking at teams right now um, that are playing very well. They're peaking at the right time. We're all kind of in that same boat where you have some really solid players. Everyone's kind of battling some injuries to it at the same time. But, you know, we get an opportunity to go to a great facility that Albright has and, and be in this tournament with, with three other fantastic teams. So we're really excited to get the opportunity and can't wait to get back out on the field on Saturday night as a group. Wilkes University Women's Soccer heads to the first round of the ECAC tournament when they face William Patterson at Albright College this Saturday starting at 730. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck. Thanks, Adam.